In this video, we will start to build the news data drill down. So let's return to Cold Fusion Builder and let's open that news.cfm page, which is right here, and let's run it in the browser. So remember, the news.cfm contains a table with all the news and associated with each news is a read more link. So when I pass my mouse on the read more links here, you see in the bottom left corner of the screen that all those links go to the same place. They go to news.cfm. Same thing for the news archive on the site. They all go to news.cfm as well, regardless of the link I click on. So let's go back to Cofusion Builder and the links of the table, the read more links, are defined here on line 39. Remember that we are in a table row and that table row is in an output with the query attribute, so in a loop. It means each news of the query has its own table row. So here is the href, the address of the read more link. When we click on the read more link, we reach that page. Now to separate the page that we want to request from the data that we pass to that page, we use the question mark. And after the question mark, you can have a list of key value. So here the key, so the name of the variable that I will use to pass the data, can choose that name will be news ID and the value of the news ID will be a dynamic data so I can use that double hash sign and I will use here the FLD news ID field that I have selected in the RSL news query so let's add that field here like that now I save the page and run the page and you will see when I pass the mouse on each read morning that now you have a parameter which is added to the URL, in this case news.cfm question mark news ID equal one. But for the next read more link we have news ID equal two, then three, then four. So each read more link is now different and we can use that parameter to pass to the detail page of the drill down which news we want to see. Now let's take a look at the news archive. So here the sidebar is defined right here and here is the link in the sidebar that also goes to news.cfm. So let's add a parameter to that URL. Now the name of that parameter will simply be year and the value of that parameter will be a dynamic piece of data. So let's add the double hash sign and we will take that news year data here. So when I save the page and run the page, now if I go to the news archive section here, you see the generated URL at the bottom left corner of the screen, year equal 2015, year equal 2014. So once again, those two links are now different and they are able to send a data to the requested page and that data is the year that we want to reach. So let's click on one of those links. I will take, for example, that second read more here. If I click here, look at what happened. I go to the news.cfm and I pass that parameter news ID. So if I go to view developer, developer tools, and I take a look at the request, let's run the request again. You see here the news.cfm question mark news ID equal to when you click here and you see the headers you see that we have a query string parameter news ID equal to and I can retrieve that data to use it in another dynamic query to output the news that I want to see and that is something we will do in the next video. Now before going to the next video, there is one little exercise that you will do on your own. There is a PDF file whose name appears now on the screen and in that PDF file you will do that very same procedure but on the agenda page to generate dynamic links for each event of the agenda. Take your time to do this exercise and I will meet you in the next video after you have finished that exercise which is, remember, in that PDF file whose name is on the screen.